Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Dr. Alessandro. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about something called tonsilloliths. So, hey doc, what are these things that are way back in my throat? I feel like there's something back there that I can hack up that's solid. Okay, so that's what tonsilloliths are. Now, there are a whole bunch of slang names for them. Some people call them tonsil stones. Some people call them bad breath balls. Some people call them tonsil cheese. And some people call them, uh, well, I've heard lung chunks as well. So there are a host of other nicknames for these things. But what exactly are they? Well, the basics of what they are is debris and maybe a little bit of calcium and bacteria all get together in the back towards your tonsils, actually in the folds of your tonsils. And uh, basically after some time they congeal or kind of blend in or pound together like two sumo wrestlers um, into this chunk or this solid lump. Okay, uh, actually here are some images of tonsilloliths or tonsil stones for your edification. Uh, and as you can see, you know, they're of different sizes and they can be tiny, they can be bigger, they can be gigantic. Um, you know, these are ones that, yes, they came directly from my own tonsils. Uh, so uh, a lot of people can get them. And uh, so what exactly can you necessarily do about them? Well, the answer is a few things. Um, well, first of all, you could try rinsing with warm salt water, gargling with it, um, you know, getting other types of mouth rinses or something to rinse all those areas out. Uh, and so those are things that you can do to try to get rid of these things. Um, what else? Uh, you can try, well, no treatment, doing nothing, and they keep coming. And, and they come periodically. Some people get them every now and again. Uh, some people get them uh, more frequently. And so uh, it all depends on a few different things, basically how the tonsils are. And, and you can even say what you're eating and drinking. Uh, so what you're eating and drinking also plays a factor because, for example, for me, I can tell you that, you know, things that can pack in there well, the maybe small particle type of things like, I don't know, popcorn and rice, those sorts of things might jam into tonsil folds pretty easily. And so they might come more frequently if you eat those sorts of things that can really pack into the folds of the tonsils. So maybe keep an eye on that. See if you notice that if you're eating things after certain types of foods, you get them more frequently. Uh, another thing you can do, uh, really you can have them removed by a dentist or a physician or even I've seen people just removing them from each other. Uh, so uh, yeah, you can even have a friend help out if you really want. I'm not recommending, but that's if that's what you want to do, that is your choice. I'm not going to tell you that that's a great idea, uh, but hey, I can't stop anything. It's your choice in your body. Uh, so I would prefer if you have them removed by one of us or if you somehow uh, rinse them out on your own. Uh, now, if you want to go radically on treatment, you could even do tonsillectomy. So you can have your, a portion or all of your tonsils removed. That is a way to do it. It is kind of extreme. It is more radical surgery. So unless you're really having other tonsil issues, I might say to consider backing off of that idea uh, unless it's becoming such a bother that you really can't deal with it any longer. Um, I always try to stay away from the most invasive type of treatments because they can be a little bit the tougher, you could say, to recover from later or could have after effects that you might not want. So that said, I appreciate you joining me on this video. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you're all staying well and healthy. 